So we're going to be looking at internal energy. So internal energy is the sum of the random distribution of the kinetic and potential energies of all the atoms or molecules that make that system. If we were to consider the kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules of a solid, we'd say it's vibrational because the atoms or molecules are vibrating about a fixed point. If we were to consider the kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules of a gas, we'd say it's translational, meaning that the atoms or molecules are moving from one place to another. And if we were to consider the kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules of a liquid, we'd say it's mainly vibrational, but there is some translational kinetic energy. There are two ways in which we can increase the internal energy of a system, and that is by either increasing the kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules in that system, or by increasing the potential energy of the atoms or molecules of the system. And how we can increase the potential energy is by increasing the mean distance of separation between the atoms and molecules. So the first question we're going to be looking at is why there's an increase in internal energy when you increase temperature. Well, if you was to increase the temperature of a solid or liquid, then the atoms or molecules will vibrate with larger amplitudes, so they'll vibrate faster, and so their average kinetic energy will increase. If we were to consider gases, then we know the average kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature, so increasing the temperature would increase the average kinetic energy. Also, by increasing the temperature, the mean distance of separation between the atoms or molecules would increase slightly, and so the potential energy would increase slightly. So as a result of the kinetic energy increasing and the potential in energy increasing slightly, the internal energy will increase. So the second question is, what happens to the internal energy of a solid when it melts at a temperature of 20 degrees C? So as the solid melts into a liquid, it becomes more disordered. And we can see that the mean separation between the atoms increases, which increases the potential energy of the atoms. However, as the temperature remains constant at 20 degrees C, then the kinetic energy of the atoms remains constant. And so that means the internal energy increases because there's been an increase in the potential energy of the atoms. And the final question is, why is the internal energy minimum at absolute zero? Well, at absolute zero, the mean distance of separation between the atoms or molecules is at the minimum, so they're the closest together. So that means the potential energy of the atoms or molecules is at a minimum, it's at its lowest possible value. Also, at absolute zero, the atoms or molecules will not be moving, so then the kinetic energy will be zero. And so if the kinetic energy is zero and the potential energy is at a minimum, that means the internal energy is at a minimum.